Well, hello. I'm the Bad Wolf. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please make sure you hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Today's lesson is going to be about Black Lost Dictionary. This is the deluxe 11th edition by Brian A. Garner, editor-in-chief, Thomas Reuters. Make yourselves comfy. We're going to be here for a while. We've got some definitions to go through. So if you will, let us all turn to the beginning of the book. We're going to start on page 76. What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Mad Wolf, the Bad Wolf, the Man in Black on the Attack, but never a belligerent ant. All right, from your favorite national, born definitely natural, non-citizen of the United States, national of the United States, state citizen, and uh, private natural person and leader of Lovitica, private nation. Long live the American way of life. Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't been here before, make sure you hit that bell, like, and subscribe. All right, people, let's get going. Are you ready? All right. So once again, this particular informational segment is going to be on words that you need to know or you should know or you are afraid to buy a Black Laws Dictionary. So let's see what they have to say about all the fun things in here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, let's start with this one. Age of the majority. <clears throat> Some of you don't know what this is. I'm glad you're here. Let's take a look. Age of the majority. Okay. The age usually defined by statute as... 18 years, at which a person attains full legal rights, especially civil and political, such as the right to vote. The age of the majority must be the same for men and women, and in almost all states today, the age of the majority is 18, but the age at which a person may legally purchase and consume alcohol is 21. And they also go on to define age of reason. But you guys can look up those on your own. Drinking age, fighting age, full age, lawful age. Also see age of majority. So your lawful age. Remember, guys, there's a difference between legal and lawful. Legal means within the statute's codes on paper within the corporation. Lawful means under the Constitution and judicial. Not the same. Not the same. So it's almost like they're saying when you become 18, you become the age of the majority. If you didn't see my video that, uh, well, I just uploaded, probably should go to my full video playlist on James C. Love it on YouTube and check that out for yourself. It's good stuff there. All right. So it's almost like they're saying you become lawful at that age and in full capacity, no longer needing your trustees, public servants, things of that nature. But educational information only. It's kind of interesting that um, if you never declare that you are, what did they say, this age of majority, you're at full capacity, you're at full mental capacity, almost as if then that means that technically would that, could, would it, would you, could you, could it possibly mean that they're still governing over you and that they know that you're an incompetent because you've never told them that you were competent. So you can be a grown person. Just This is just me thinking outside. Entertainment purposes only. That you then are an incompetent and need to be controlled within their jurisdiction as a resident or an employee of the federal or state levels. Because you haven't told them that you comprehend things. Because you probably understand what they're saying. But do you? Because understand means to stand under one's authority. So I guess I overstand. All right, what's going on? Woo, got a little crazy in there. Let's take a look. Take a look. 
Take a look, don't be shy. Get a little closer, you and I. All right, Bailey. When people are filling out their UCC1s, they see the word Bailey. What does it mean? Bailey, someone who receives personal property from another and has possession of, but not title to the property. A bailee is responsible for keeping the property safe until it is returned to the owner. Someone, bailee, bailiff, bailor, hmm, bailor, uh, someone who by warehouse receipt, birth certificate, <coughs> uh, bill of landing or other document of title acknowledges possession of goods and contracts to deliver them. See bailment, Bailey insurance, Bailey lien, bail enforcement agent, bailer, bailiff, bail bond, bailiff minor, bailiff major, bum high bailiff, special bailiff, water bailiff, bail and error. Guys gotta check out the butts. All the good stuff is out there. Oh, and by the way, um, Brian A. Garner, if you're out there, editor-in-chief, um, obviously if you're not paying me for this, which is like all the rest of my stuff, um, but I, I wouldn't mind getting some compensation for that. As well, for the rest of the people out there, especially you multi-millionaires, feel free to send me a quarter million dollars um, with Cash App or whatever else. Um, and for the poor people out there, even if you send $5, that's great because that $5 is the same to them by sending $250,000 to me. So I'm just saying, take it out there. All right, private donations only. All right, so that being said, um, bailor, someone who delivers personal property to another as a bailment. Also see spelled bailer. <laughs> What's this word? It looks like it's French. To parler français? Mm, oui, un petit parler français. Yes, I do speak multiple languages. French is one of them. Says the K trust. The one from whom is the trust? Archaic. Someone who possesses equitable rights in property, usually receiving the rents, issues, and profits from it. An alternative name for the beneficiary is Sestake Trust, an elliptical phrase meaning he for whom benefit the trust was created. In this phrase, Sestu is pronounced Sete, Seste, with an accent on the first syllable. K is pronounced Ki, so Sestake, and the trust is, as in, in English, grammatically the plural should be Sestake Trust, pronounced like the singular. I hate when people say this. Uh, what is this? The c 2 e k q oh my God, Sestake. As in trust, verb. Okay. Sestake Trust, law, French. One from whom the archaic. The person for who uses, for use and benefit property is being held by another who holds legal title to the property. Yes. The gift, the estate, the duration of the trust, the person whose life measures the duration of the trust. From what I understand, the trusts are supposed to be 70 years. So I think hypothetically, theoretically, educational purposes only, when you get 70 years old, you're supposed to automatically then gain your trust if you haven't done so already or informed them that you are of the age of a majority of your life at that age. Driver, one who steers or propels a vehicle, someone who herds animals or a drover, a piece of software that allows a computer to work with another piece of hardware, such as a mouse or printer. Now, so as said before, when we move, they move. So this is the new version. I already read the old version in the uh, first edition, 1891, um, in another video. So please see that video. Maybe it'll pop up here if I'm on top of my business. If not, uh, then just look for the video. James, you love it. No, I'm just kidding. James, you love it on YouTube. So they removed the part in here where it said, at least in this first definition of for commerce, for profit um, activities, one employed. Now it goes, 
driver responsibility assessment, driver education, but they do have driver's license, okay? The state, so who state and what state, the corporation typically, issued certificate in their jurisdiction authorizing a person, person is meaning a corporation, because that's what your name is in all capitalized letters, the business trust, your, to your access to your SESTA-K trust, to operate a motorized vehicle, which is their word, which means for uh, within the state or federal and um, you're being paid to, so it's for your employed. An official document or card stating the owner is legally, legally, different from lawfully, legally means inside the corporation, allowed to drive. And we already know what, well, they have driver here, but they don't define drive. So that is clever because by, you remember guys, this is one of the most important things I can always tell you. In this particular scenario, um, they have to have the word drive. I'm not going to mention any states. Um, that don't have the word drive on there. Ergo, everything that they're doing underneath not having a definition of every single word is in fact fraud and can be tossed out because they have to tell you what the words that they're using mean. So the root word of driver, driver's license, and all the rest of this is drive. That has to be defined in all of its vernacular. So here, the next one up is commercial driver's license. A driver... We know that means employed. License issued specifically for the operation of a commercial vehicle, such as a license is required by federal law, but is issued under state law, meaning you can get a federal uh, DOT plate, plate and number as a private traveler. Otherwise, you do have the ability to write the travel privately under the Constitution, depending on your situations, and you have to abide by getting rid of all the contracts and all that good stuff. That was done in another video. So going from here, they've got a conditional driver's license, a hardship license. Fun fact, if you're out there and you don't have any insurance and you want to go and get your back done as a chiropractor, like your boy here, educational information, if you go out there and talk to your dentist, your chiropractor, or whatever else, contact them and say that you are on hardship. Do you have any discounted rates for hardship? Um, then they will give you a different level of payment options. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so if you like this information, yes, hit the bell, like, subscribe, because your boy's bringing it to you, as always. Um, restrict your driver's license, driving, um, driving under the influence, driver's test, driving while impaired, driving intoxicated, um, <laughs> they even have driving while black in here, believe it or not. 1990 slang for stopping an African-American motorist for minor traffic offenses because the officer is suspicious that the motorist has been engaged in illegal activity, racially profiling, DWB. Okay. Next major sets of words. What do we got here? 13 minutes already? Time flies when you are... Having fun. Now, we talked about the word idiot in the other one, but let's recap. A person afflicted with profound mental retardation, don't take offense, because of its frequency, derogatory use, the term has largely fallen out of the use in modern legal medical context. However, idiota. So are you an idiota? Let's check it out. I think you are. An unlearned... Okay, that doesn't mean in all things, that just means in something in their system. Okay, simple person. I have an IQ of almost just under 160. That's actually genius level intelligence. However, I'm still a simple person because I don't know all things and well, I like to have an exist in a simple existence. But when I say I'm a person, eh, I would say I'm a simple natural person. Persons mean corporations. A simple corp is sometimes called an S corp. Or a soul corp. See what I did there? If not, rewind it until you get it. All right. So two, a private person. One not in office. One not clothed with public office or official duties. Not, not in their residency. Non-resident. Not in their state or federal jurisdictions. If you guys aren't picking this up, you're not moving at one speed. Wolf speed, baby. Wolf speed. Let's go. License. A privilege granted by a state or city, so a state, 
Okay, what is a state? A state can be a corporation, a state can be a person, a state can be an area. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my video, uh, how to look up state of whatever that you live in, you live in, and see who owns it. Go to Dun & Bradstreet and type in state of your state here. And see what pops up. And see how they open up a whole another list of corporations. But didn't they go to the state to open that up? Oh yeah, the state went to Washington. <coughs> DC. <coughs> Sorry, something had a little, little spill or something. Anyway, so I think DC is foreign, right? Isn't DC not under? I'm so glad this is educational purpose only. From your favorite non-belligerent, non-combatant, non-resident, bad wolf, the wolf that is bad. Anyway, got lost there. Sorry, Woo, a, little, a little dazed. All right, so privileges granted by the state or city for payment of a fee. The reception of the privilege is then authorized to do some act or series of acts would otherwise be impermissible. That's usually not true. Uh, a license in this sense is a method of governmental regulations exercised under the police power. Hmm. Not judicial. Interesting. Uh, legislative. Hmm. Okay. As with the license to drive a car. Well, license is something that they offer theirs. Drive is also means theirs and for profit. As in a license to drive, drive a car. Operating a taxi for profit, once again, commercial, to keep a dog in the city or sell crafts to the street vendor, which these are all public activities. Keeping a dog is permissible um, with a permit if you are residing within their state, which means on paper. Otherwise, you have the right to do these things, educational information only, in the private. Okay. Um, a permission usually revocable. To, com to commit some of the acts would otherwise be unlawful, okay? Especially an agreement not amounting to a lease or profit. That it is lawful for the licensee to enter the licensor's land to do some act would otherwise be illegal, okay? Um, next up, what are we at, 17 minutes? All right, maritime, what is that? Connected with or situated near the sea. Sea, admiralty, jurisdiction. Or relating to otherwise involving sea or navigation or commerce. The word maritime has, a, has the constitution, its appropriate meaning, relating to the sea, sea, a word, extension of the sea. It is not restricted in common speech. Maritime Administration, 1950, a unit of the United States Department of Transportation. Maritime Ad Administration for the U.S.? What? That means it's all sea. So they're talking about doing business on water and commerce. You know, I heard a couple of things that if you Google courthouses that look like ships from above, you might find something interesting. It's almost like it's a ship in dry dock, educational information only. Hold on, let me think. And then that would make the judge or the magistrate actually more so the admiral or captain of that vessel. And I wonder if it would be a private agreement then, anything that happens in there. Hmm. Hmm, interesting, something to ponder. Maritime flag, sea flag. Um, maritime law, a body of law governing marine commerce, navigation, the carriage, the carriage at sea of persons and property, and marine affairs in general. The rules governing contracts, torts, workers' compensation claims, or related to commerce on or over water. Also termed Admiralty, Admiralty Law, Sea Law, General Maritime Law, and the Law of the Sea. A motion, a written or oral application requesting a court to make a specified ruling or order. 
In this, page 1216 of uh, Black Law's 11th edition, the uh, deluxe gives you all of the motions you need to know if you want to file something. What do we have here? Calendar motion. Contradictory motion. Coram nobis motion. The motion to vacate an allegedly unlawful conviction. Cross motion. Dil dilatory motion. Disposition motion. Enumerated motion. Ex parte motion. A motion made to the court without notice to the adverse party. A motion that the court considers and rules on without hearing from all of the sides. Motion of motion for reduction. A motion to lessen the amount of child support payments. This is a type of motion to modify. Motion of course, more motion of resettlement, motion to modify, omnibus motion. Post-trial motion, show cause motion, speaking motion, special motion, uh, coexisting motion, immediate pending motion, improper motion, incidental main motion, uh, motion that brings a question gain again before the assembly, motion to divide the question, ordinary uh, main motion, original main motion, parliamentary motion, pending motion, Principal motion, privilege motion, procedural motion, quasi main motion, see incidental main motion, restorative motion, rule 12B6 motion, a motion to dismiss a case because the plaintiff has not stated a claim on which relief can be granted. Secondary motion, motion for judgment notwithstanding verdict. Guys, I can't even go through all of them without spending another 10 minutes just on all the motions. This is why you have to get their books and use their tools to understand their words. There's two more pages of motions. Motion to modify, motion to remand, motion to redact, motion for summary judgment, motion to compel discovery, motion to dismiss, motion, uh, for, re motion for relief from judgment. These are what you guys have to learn, guys. Seriously, I can make a whole video on just reading those, and maybe I will, um, and actually go through each one of them. So that'll be in another one. Um, I'm, see, this is how you guys have to learn, by discovering these pieces and then expounding upon them, going through them, using them, loving them. That's awkward. Sorry. Um, okay, so recusable. What does recusable mean? Of an obligation arising from a party's voluntary act that can be avoided. Of judgment, capable of being disqualified from sitting on a case, providing the basis for disqualification. Recusal, removal of oneself as judge or policymaker in a particular matter, especially because of conflict of interest. Um, also termed recusation or recusement to recuse to remove oneself as judge in a particular case uh, because of the disqualification such as prejudice or conflict of interest the judge recused herself from trial to challenge or object to an, a judge or an expert to being disqualified to serve in a case because of their prejudice conflict of interest etc defendant filed a motion to recuse the trial judge recusal State action. Anything done by government, especially in constitutional law, which is not the same as lower level, an intrusion of one's personal rights, especially civil, either by a governmental agency or by a private requirement that can be enforced only by governmental action, such as a racially restrictive covenant, which requires judicial actions for enforcement. State action. Are your jobs requiring you to do something that violates your personal rights? This is why you guys get my forms. This is why you guys do these things. I sit and I learn and do these things. And then I find the cases that involve these. And then I use them against them. That's why we keep winning. 
Oh, yes. Just because I don't tell you guys what cases that we've won and how many things I get daily on the successes, how many police officers are now contacting me and getting their status changed, how many federal officers, people in the White House, uh, people who work for people in the White House, um, all these things, or, or uh, chief of police, you know, uh, sheriffs who know this information now or are being now talked about to this, um, and all the other various things. These things are happening. I just hold myself in a regard that I don't need to to state or bloat or brag on um, on the successes individually. Just know that they're they're definitely happening. And but I also keep people's information private. So once again, this goes out to all the people out there who do want to share either inside information or inside tips in the various levels. Um, thank you for those people who already have reached out. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. That information has been fire. You've confirmed a lot of things we've already known and done. And some new things I will bring to you guys. Um, anything that's considered um, above, top secret, or uh, whatever else, um, I cannot put that into the public. So that has to be done on the private. Uh, but also that being said, I'm not saying that you should get that information in any normal ways. Uh, just if it's something you have, you want to share, we can, if we do a consultation, we can talk about certain things, but I'm not saying do anything that inappropriate to get or obtain any of that information. So I just, but we'll just say any prized information, however you deem it to be, I'm okay with it and keeping your information private. Um, but anything that can get you in trouble, then I'm going to have to say don't provide that. Okay? Because I don't want that kind of smoke either. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Once again, hit that bell, like, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for sharing your knowledge, your information. Thank you for working with me on these various topics and things. Um, we've been very successful. I think we're almost at 1,000 people on uh, the Bad Wolf Media channel, which also is on YouTube. It's my secondary or fallback channel. Please support that channel. Spread the information on that. I only have like maybe five or six to seven videos. Once we have a thousand, uh, then it will be worth my time to shift some of the energy from this channel to that one. And that one is going to be no holds barred, all kind of information um, other than things that are above top secret or, or heightened security level that we shouldn't be sharing in the, in the public anyway. Because you guys have to understand things that are considered in the public um, are open for public scrutiny and whatnot. And so a lot of these things, including some of these processes, should be done only in the private. That is how it goes. There's a difference between doing public business and private business. Some things are not to be in the hands of uh, either certain persons or certain natural persons. So for those people who have privy me to a lot of information, thank you once again. Um, we will go from there. That's it. Take care of yourselves. Stay wise, stay woke, stay aware, stay warm, stay healthy of all. And I will talk to you guys later. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe. And my ladies out there, because, you know, the wolf loves ladies. Um, I mean, I love a lot of things in all actuality. Hey, hello. Um, oh, behave. Um, you guys definitely need to hit that subscribe because, like I said, we've gone from 17 to 27. But there's no reason, especially in this world, that there's more women than men, that you guys should not be at least 50%. So do the wolf a favor, especially if you find me kind of cute. Hit that bell and that like, and, but definitely that subscribe. And to my fellow people out there in the pack, thank you for joining the paid monthly subscription service because that does help me to be able to buy these expensive books when the money comes in. Um, it's not a lot, but it is. it makes it a whole lot easier if I only have to put down half the money for some of these books, a couple cost cost a couple hundred dollars. The new black laws you can get for a hundred dollars though off of Amazon. I don't get paid for that, although I should, should start providing a link and get paid for some of that stuff. Because just like me, you guys can get paid through Amazon by just going there, becoming an affiliate, finding a product, taking that link and putting it on your YouTube. Um, some people have wanted me to provide information on how to pimp their YouTube channels um, to have better success because some of their suck no offense, just the truth. So I think I'll make a video on that at some point in time um, on how to get better views and results. And then, you know, you guys can use it as will. Or I can do it as a consultation. I don't know yet, but we'll see. If I, if I have some people come ask me about that, then I'll do it. If not, then let's just keep it, keep it G-rated in this piece. That's it, guys. I'll holler at you later. Appreciate you from your boy, the one, the bad wolf. Wolf one is out.